Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I've been playing around with this blend tool today, and I thought I'd make one more, and I'm going to call this Blend Twice. So we're going to make a perfect circle, and then I'm going to make a non-perfect circle, a noble. Now, I do want them on the same plane, so I'm going to hit C, E, and put them together. But then I'm going to take and move the other one out, holding down the control button. It'll stay on the same plane. You don't need to move it quite that far. And then I'm going to grab both of them, and we're going to go use this blend tool up here. And we just want two copies. So I'm doing exactly what I did earlier. We're a little bit too far apart, so let's move this one back a little bit. Grab them both and just make two copies. There we go. Now we're going to take and go to arrange and, well, I need to break the blend apart. And then we can grab it all and weld it. So we're doing the same thing when we hit P and put it in the center of the page. This is exactly the same as in the first video with the exception that now we have a different blend. So now I'm going to grab these two and I'm going to blend it, let's say 30 times. It's not going to look as good because it's in red as it would as it is in black. But you see you get a totally different shape and you can still use your shape tool to alter your shape and even alter it some more. And you could come up with some pretty cool effects. Now, what I did earlier, and I am going to change this to black. Whoop. Actually, I actually have to go to the pen tool because there's no fill. Just make it black. Give it a little bit of thickness of line. Now, you see what I did, and I did it accidentally. I just had the line selected. And I turned the line black, and then the, the blend was still red. So I need to do both of them. We're going to make this four. That's too much. Little blends kind of go in together. And then we're going to make it black. And also, you can play around with this. And I just did it earlier. And as you can see that you can't mirror it or anything, it's because it's a blend. Break the blend apart, and all of, them, all of a sudden you get your blend. So control D and make a duplicate and then we're going to flip it and you get a totally different look that could be pretty cool. You could do uh, it's six. Well, we made it really big. It's 16.2 inches large. So we're going to change our nut factor to 16.2. We're going to make a duplicate of it. We're going to mirror it and then we're going to nudge it over. So you get a completely different look. Now, this one's missing the internal line, so you'd have to make sure you do that. But these should be almost touching. So you could you could play around with this and do anything you want with it. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.